Hey guys, it's Fazan here and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, then hi again. I make videos on productivity, tech and sometimes education. Now I've completed my BSc Computer Science degree from University of London and it was almost three years long. And all of the free details that I will talk about in this video will be in context of the degree that I have done. Now in order to break down fee structure of University of London, I want you to focus on this document that is right on your screen. Now this is a countries and region list. Now this has two types of bands, band A and band B. Now since I live in Pakistan, my band would be A. And similarly for you as well, this list would determine which band you are from. And now that you have determined which band you are from, now I want you to focus on the second document that is right on your screen. Now this document right in front of you is a computer science fee schedule from 2023 to 2024. So all of the fee structure that is listed here is only valid for the year that is listed here. And it also gets updated every year because the fee increases 5% every year. For me, it was eight subjects per year, which meant 120 credit hours per semester and 15 credits per subject. Hence, the fee per subject for band A country with 15 credits is 490 pounds for web supported learning but i took institution supported learning which was almost 327 pounds now another thing to note is that i took local institute support which has even lower fees as you can see right now but this means even though you have will save some money from your world side but you will have to pay the institute roughly the same amount or more in some cases now just remember for all of the british degrees that are out there you have to complete 360 credit hours so which means 120 credit hours per year so the credit hours per subject would also depend the amount of subjects that you have so in my case it was eight subjects per year so that meant 15 credit hours per subject for a total of three years of my degree and completing 23 subjects i have paid almost 7000 pounds for my degree compared to what is listed on the website which is almost 12000 pounds but the reason why that is, is because in my case, the local institute gave me a discount because I never went to the local institute and used their resources. So they were kind enough to give me a discount for that. But the people that are studying with me there and were studying with me there were paying quite a lot of amount, which was almost double or triple than what I was paying. So I was paying almost 170 pounds per semester just to stay in that local institute so my total which was almost six thousand pounds for just university of london then accumulated to seven thousand fifty six pounds for my whole degree now just remember that fee increases five percent per year so the fee you might pay in the upcoming semester or a semester after would be much more or different than what i have paid or you're seeing here also remember university of london doesn't give any scholarship and my scenario with my local institute was purely coincidental or you can say I got somewhat lucky. But you can expect to pay almost 11,000 to 18,000 pounds depending on which country you live in. And I have shown you this document which is right on your screen again. This is right in the description which you can go ahead and check it out and calculate according to the country that you live in which is this document and calculate how much you would be paying according to the country you're living in. Now the way to find information yourself is by going to website and if you are on Coursera then you will see this link or schedule of program fees which will take you to the appropriate document that will show you all of the fee structure that is there. Now just remember that the band system that I explained before was only applicable for the BSc Computer Science degree from University of London that is offered through Goldsmiths University. Now, every University of London degree is handled by a different entity and they will have their different fee structure and rules. So it is important to see what fee structure that they have and not to confuse any fee structures of degrees that are offered by University of London because they are managed by different entities. Now, before moving forward, let's talk about Coursera. So Coursera is a really good platform to do any type of certification. They have courses from Google, they have courses from IBM, and they have courses on many different topics and many different fields that you can do to kickstart your career in any of the field and probably add more to your knowledge base and your skill set. So I have some of my really favorite courses down in the description below and you can go ahead in the description, follow the link and check those courses out and do them if you really like them. And you can add more to your skill set and knowledge base by doing some certifications 
on Coursera. But yeah, that's it for this video and I hope you found it helpful and you really understood the fee structure that University of London has and how you can find the fee structure for the degree that you are looking for. And if you liked the video, then give it a thumbs up or if you loved it, then consider subscribing. It's free. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.